Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back, and today we're making first contact with House of the Dying Sun. And this is a tactical space combat flight game. At least that's what they uh, label it as. It is first person. And let's get training. Alright, so as you'll notice, I am using an Xbox 360 controller on the PC here. And the reason for that is that the game currently supports uh, game pads and mouse and keyboard. I thought I would try out the controller just to kind of have uh, a little bit more uh, control over my ship. It doesn't natively support flight sticks, but I believe that you can tweak things in the options if you're familiar with uh, messing with that. Um, it does actually have support for track IR, as you can see here. Moving my head around to look around, which is great. I love my track IR device. But let's go ahead and get started. Drifting, drifting lets you move in the direction, in one direction and aim in another. I'd have to get used to that. B to break. Right trigger. Busy looking around. Stand by. No, okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, so apparently we have a space shotgun. Uh, hold Y for weapon selection. Okay, so that was the blunderbuss, auto cannon, scarab torpedo. Shoulder. Holding it near enemy fighter attacker. Okay. Go ahead and take out a shipping container first. Although it wants me to extract. Definitely has an interesting aesthetic for a space uh, flight combat game. The sounds are actually really good so far. I like the muffled uh, gunfire, as if you're actually inside a vehicle. The sounds of the reload. Switching weapons. I really love that, the way everything sounds. Okay, well they want us to extract now, so let's go ahead and do that. Hold A.
Okay, nice. Press any button to continue. Next target, the Miser. Traitor Lord Thule has been given charge of the frontier territories and is running inspections on the rich ore clusters he inherited. Purge him. Assassinate Lord Duel. Bonus, kill Thule's escorts. Okay. Uh, choose difficulty. Invader, Warlord, Harbinger. Um, since I'm a nooblet, I'm going to go with Invader. Although... says complete bonus objectives on each difficulty to earn favor. So I guess you can replay and do the other difficulties later if you want. Configure fleet, upgrades, energy shields, juggernaut armor. Interesting. UI is lovely, by the way. Simple, clean, effective. Long rifle, we've got auto cannon. Okay, so nothing that we can switch out at the moment. Murder at Soldier's Pass. Assassinate Lord Duel. our target and I think we're gonna see if we can torp this guy on the way well, that was easy done with this guy yet though time to bail I like the gunlock tone uh oh let's get the frack out of dodge Sounds are really, really good. You've kind of got that realistic um, tone, like missile tone and uh, gun lock tone, things like that, that you might get in some sort of modern jet or something, which is really cool, adds to it. As I always say, sound is very important, just as important as visuals in terms of immersion. Uh, Raid right at Sumir's Cloud, a new way station is in the early stages of construction at Sumir's Cloud. Destroy the caches, purge, uh, purge the workers, destroy supply caches, bonus. Make example of the workers, or the cartographer. INV Lancer has captured the traitor lord, Jor, but it has been disabled in hostile territory. INV Hangman is being sent to recover the prisoner. Defend it. Defend assault transport Hangman. Bonus Royal Guard must survive. Plus one interceptor fleet size increase. Um, we could also try a different difficulty level, but let's just go ahead and do this one. Okay, different. So this one will give us Fury Missiles. I imagine things will get progressively more difficult. Got some fighter escorts, it looks like, as well. I want to take care of this guy first.
I also like that they have some Tycho drums playing in the background. It always reminds me of Battlestar Galactica. I love Tycho. It's the bonus. Wait on that fighter. I love Shrek IR. Have I mentioned that? This is really cool. <laughs> Don't want to deal with that flagship. Now, as far as I know, there is no multiplayer, which is unfortunate. This is an early access title. I don't know if that's going to change. Honestly, I just heard about this game a few weeks ago and had it uh, on my Steam list. Uh, you can find it there. I will have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. I think it's currently 10% off, so it makes it like $17.99 for the time being, something like that. Um, let's see. New weapon unlocked, also known as the Yellow Jacket. The 6B Fury Launcher delivers variable salvos of anti-fighter warheads to the intended target, chopping through shields but struggling against hull. Okay. Cartographer. Let's read this. Uh, INV Lancer has captured the traitor Lord Jor, but it has been disabled in hostile territory. Hangman is being sent to recover the prisoner defended. All right, so defend assault transport hangman bonus roll. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and check this out. We got a new weapon, Fury Missiles. Yeah, really liking this so far. Good first impression. Uh, just everything is coming together with the visuals, the sound effects, some nice music in the background. Uh, hopefully there will be some multiplayer in the future because I could see this being a blast. Alright, so we need to defend these guys on the right. What the frack is this thing? Destroyer? Okay, so that's down. guys are closing fast. It's kind of cool with the Xbox controller, you can feel the rumble when you shoot. It's nice to have that kind of feedback. Oops. 
see if we can intercept them before they get too close. Me, we're gonna need to get out of here. All right, they jumped. Go, 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 go. Got kind of scary. Yeah, I wanted to stick around for the bonus. Uh, which looks like we did. Fleet upgraded. One fighter, the cartographer, surrendered many things, including the whereabouts of a cache of starfighter components. Press any key to continue. The cleric. The cleric's fiery sermons were left unchecked, and now the traitor cannot help but gloat. Silence him and his defenses so we may loot his outposts later. Assassinate the cleric. Bonus destroy sentry guns. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. You know, I'm, I'm forgetting about these other difficulty levels. It makes me wonder how challenging they actually are. Um, I think I'll stick with these. Have we run into anything with shields yet? Because I didn't use these simply because I didn't think we needed to. Probably should have used one of these on the destroyer or something, but oh, we'll see how this goes. Got a wingman this time around. You are now fielding two fighters. You may switch to any fighter in your fleet from the tactical mode. You may also give orders to units in your fleet by using the order menu. Hold D-pad up to activate the order menu now. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, there's our target. Pedo away. Oh, he's got shields. He doesn't. And so does this guy. Shields popped. Not shielded. Oops, a little shaky here with this game pad.
time to get out. Although our objective is concealed here. Oh, I don't like that. Come on. down, new objectives open up. Um, so far, so good. Uh, you know, as a first impressions, uh, I like it. You know, uh, interesting visuals, uh, great sounds, uh, clean UI, controls work. I, I'd like to see some more uh, easy to use uh, default controls for, for flight sticks. Um, we can take a look at the main menu. Wait, I want to make sure that I'm saved first. Resume settings. Oh, I don't see anything that lets you save, so I guess it's auto saved. Um, well, we could look at this gameplay options. This is what we have. Uh, if you do have a track IR, I noticed that it actually ha also, also VR. If you have VR support, or if you have a VR device, it has support. Uh, that'd be really cool to play this in. Track IR enabled, it's an option in, in game. So make sure you play with that. But normally you just launch your track IR first and then the game. But um, controls, uh, it does look like you can map things for, for flight sticks. You just gotta know how to set up your, your pitch and yaw and whatnot. Um, which I just didn't really have too much time for today. But if you're, you're familiar with that, then I guess you can do it. I think they said something about uh, potentially adding some extra settings. Um, you know, so if you have like a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, maybe they'll just add a default setting, which would be nice to have a few of the more common sticks set up. But again, everybody's system is different, so uh, it's a lot more to work with. And yeah, I think that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Take a look at this one. I'll have a link in the description below. It is uh, early access on Steam, but so far it feels pretty smooth, polished, didn't have any performance problems. Um, I'm liking it. We'll have to see where it goes. Hopefully one day we'll be treated to some multiplayer. That would be kind of nice. But, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with having some, some good old-fashioned single player uh, to mess around with. Uh, I'll be playing more of this, so... Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will definitely see you on the next one.